No fruit comes out from its sheath nor does a female conceive nor she gives birth but with his knowledge on the day of judgment when Allah will ask the unbelievers where are those partners that you associate with me they will answer we confess that none of us can vouch for them let's see the arabic text ilayhi yuraddu ilmasa Ilayhi, towards him. When we say towards him, pronoun he is for whom? Allah. Allah knows. Yuraddu, it is turned or returned. Okay? It's from Ra, Dal, Dal. Rad. Rad, rad means it will return to him. Refer to Allah alone. Ilma, Ain la mean it's ilm, knowledge. Sa'ata, the hour. Here when we talk about final hour, the day of judgment. When uh, when is the day of judgment? Only the knowledge is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once Jibreel, Jibreel Amin asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, I don't know, Allah knows about when the hour will be. So here, Vama and not, Takhruju, it comes out. Min samaratin, any fruits, Min akhmamiha, from its sheath. Whatever the fruit comes out from the sheep. Akmamiha, it's from kim. Cover or, you know, covering of something, the laugh of something could be sheet. Like, you know, how the uh, rose will be in the bud, how it comes out, that's how it is. Akmamiha. It's from kaf, meem, meem, sheet. And the singular is kim. So, whatever the fruit comes out, like sheath is covered, but Allah knows what it is, what is there inside. And then, Vama tahmilu, and not it she carries. Min unsa wala tadu. Who carries? It she carries. Here, talking about human beings, female, okay, woman. Min from unsa, any female. So, not only human beings, even animals, whatever they are carrying, wala tadu. They lay down, means giving birth. Illa except be ilmihi, with his knowledge. Allah has knowledge what is going to be given birth. Whether unsa, any female or and any, any other creature also. Allah has complete knowledge what it's going to be. Male, female, how it will be, everything, be ilmihi. Vayawma, on that day, yunadihim, he will call. Aina, where? Shurakai, my partners, mushrikin. So here, on the day of judgment, it will be asked, where is your partners? You know, Allah is asking, where is your partners, which you add other deities? And what they going to reply? Kalu, they say, azannaka. We proclaimed or announced what they say. Ma not, minna from among us, min shahida, any witness or observer. Now they are saying, no, we, we don't witness like, you know, any partners with you. Now they are confessing in the hereafter. But in dunya, in this world, they keep on, you know, adding partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in the akhirah, they are completely doing other way around. They are saying, no, no, we don't add any other partners and we confess that. Allah is only one. And here, uh, when we uh, talk about ilm sa in Surah Al-Naziyat also, it comes in ayah number 42 to 44. Allah says, only Allah has the knowledge. And here in this uh, reference, uh, like uh, who, who, like uh, adding the partners about it, it means like, you know, doing injustice. Injustice with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, isn't it? Like, you know, adding other partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's shirk is zulmun azim. But in dunya, they do that. 
So there are some references of Surah Al-Kahf 52 to 53 and now they are saying no, we believe in one Allah. And after that, they say, we confess that none of us can uh, vouch or none of us can witness, uh, only we witness that Allah is one. Those deities whom they used to invoke will vanish. You know, when when they ask or when they call, they vanish. And in um, other uh, surahs also, when they literally, they, they ask for it, you know, to witness it, they don't appear that time. Vadalla. Literally, they call them that time and they don't answer it. But here, in this ayah, uh, it says, those deities whom they used to invoke will vanish from them and they shall realize that there is no escape. So, let's see the Arabic text here. Vadalla. And he went astray or lost. And whom from them, ma, whatever kanu they were, Yad una they invoke. So who is Dalla and who is gone and who is astray? Like you know, this people to whom they are calling to. Okay, min kablu wa zannu, and they thought ma not lahum for them min mahis any place. You know, to whom they were calling, they are nowhere now. They are gone because actually there is no partners with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Now they realize in akhirah, it's too late for them. Man is never tired of praying for good, you know. Man always want to pray for good, whether it's health or success or good life, long life and so on. But when evil befalls him, he loses hope and in despair. In this ayah number 49, La yes amu, La does not yes amu, he gets tired. Yes, Amu, like, you know, he keep on asking for it. Yeah, and he never gets tired. Yes, Amu. And after that, Al-Insanu, the mankind, all the human being, never gets tired. What they are doing? Min Duai, calling for Al-Khair, for the good. Man or human being is never tired asking for the good. And, you know, more and more we ask Allah subhanahu wa Wa in Masahu, when it touched Masau from meme seen seen must anything touched okay sharru sheen rara from shar any evil how their behavior will be fa yausun qanut yaus is from ya hamza seen it's like hopeless give up hopes okay qanut is from qaf noon ta despairing so let's see these two words yas is you know like you lost hope but still, when you talk about like, you know, uh, you, you don't have that hope, you lost it. And Khanud is more than Yas, extreme, like completely despairing Khanud. So, like after some affliction touched, they are completely Yas and Khanud. Hopeless, giving up hope and despairing. It means when everything was good, they were asking more and more. But some affliction touched, maybe, you know, poverty or health, maybe anything which you want to have and you don't have, maybe children or anything it can be, maybe in your career. And then they lose hope and they are not asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not right. This is incorrect behavior. This is ingratitude towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then later on it says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He loses hope and in despair in this ayah. And if after affliction we, we save them, or favor them, He is sure to say, I deserve this. Don't think that the hour will ever come. Allah is asking, are you like, you know, not aware, like our will come? Because now when Allah is saying this, they are like, uh, maybe they are kafil or they are arrogant because they are not thinking about. And even if I am brought back to my Rabb, I would still get good treatment from him. The fact, however, is that we shall tell the disbelievers the truth. You know, they are thinking about themselves. Like if our comes, we're going to be good. 
bima amilu and then they say of all that had done and we shall make them taste a severe punishment so in this aya wal in azaqnahu when we make them surely will make them taste rahmatan a mercy when allah you know remove all the problems and now they have rahma mercy minna from us from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mim badi darra after badi is after darra is adversity and when we talk about dar dua darra adversity can be physically or mentally like you know tangible intangible way it can be poverty it can be health issues it can be uh, wealth anything okay masat who it touched him layakulanna what it will said surely he will definitely say haza li this is because of me you know he or she is giving credit to oneself not saying to allah subhanahu wa taala you know now saying haza li this is ingratitude wama not as a no i think saatu the final hour qaima one is established who is saying this who is uh, his uh, ingratitude saying that i don't think like you know hour will come they don't believe because they are lost they are, they are in their own arrogance and after that what they say wala in and surely if rujitu i was returned ila rabbi towards my rabb now they say if i return to my rabb inna li indahu lal husna inna indeed li for me indahu near him al husna surely the best now they are giving credit to themselves because you know everything we are getting in this world and they are saying they don't believe in final hour if possible they say wala in if happens surely if ruji to we have to go back then allah will give us lal husna the best why they are thinking this way because they thought we are getting best of best in this world so in the akhirah also they are assuming that so it's like you know assumption it's not truth but allah says fala nu nabbi anna then surely we shall definitely inform there is two taqid here okay allazina those who kafar or those who deny who is informing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is inform, informing and saying because bima amilu and whatever they did uh, allah knows amilu is from amal wala nuzi qannahum surely we shall definitely make them taste nuzi qannahum is from zauq you know have you ever taste anything on your tongue how it will be zauq the taste so that is that taste they will taste what min azab in qaliz torment punishment qaliz is severe tough very very difficult punishment qaliz to be th- thick rough harsh it's very hard to bear and they have to go through that because their assumption is not going to help in akhira and what else they do when we bestow favors on man he turns away and drifts off to another side and when an evil falls on him he comes with the lengthy supplication wa iza and when anamna we bestowed mercy or favors anamna is from nam name also noon ain me whenever allah bestowed favor on person allah alal insan the human being arada ain radad he turned away you know in turned away in sense he is ungrateful and proud and you know thinking about himself by na he turned side bijani bihi with his side you know just thinking like you know because of me i got it or something like that but is and when on the a contrary if something has masahu shar if shar touches then what they behave fazu dua in arid fazu they possess dua supplication arid is one long they are doing long supplication now affliction has touched now they are like you know asking allah subhanahu wa taala before how they are when uh, bestowed uh, favors on them they turned away and they were boastful they are th- thinking about themselves but when affliction like you know a shar was touched now they are doing lengthy supplication you might have no- noticed the previous aya they were yaus and qanut okay but here because after this after turning away when 
you know after shar they are asking dua but in the previous ayah we have seen that they were when affliction wa in masahu sharru fa yausun qanut they were hopeless and despairing these are the behavior of human being so we have to be grateful to allah subhanahu wa taala this afflictions allah is testing us la yukallifu allah illa wusaha you know how much we can bear that much only allah will burden so we should have that faith and nothing is because of us Allah Allah knows what is best for us and don't be boastful if you are getting khair so if you are getting shar have sabr subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nas